Hi, my name is Ken Edwards. I am an owner and engineer with LMNO Engineering Research and Software Limited here in Athens, Ohio, USA. This is our website, www.lmnoeng.com. This video is going to analyze the data taken in the previous experiment of water flowing through a four foot horizontal section of three quarter inch nominal diameter schedule 40 PVC. Now that pipe had an actual inside diameter of 0 0.824 inches and the length of the test section was four feet. Let's summarize our experimental data. The upstream head was measured as 32.625 inches which is 32 and 5 eighths inches and our downstream head was measured as 30.125 inches or 30 and 1 8 inch. The flow rate was measured as 3 gallons in 35 seconds. And we're going to use software to compare the flow rate measured in the experiment with the flow rate predicted by our calculations. But first we need to convert pressure drop into pounds per square inch to be used in our calculation. So the equation to convert head to pressure drop is gamma times H1 minus H2. Gamma is the weight density of water which is 62.3 pound per cubic foot at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now our pressure drop can then be computed as 62.3 pound per cubic foot times the head difference 32.625 minus 30.125 inches times a unit conversion and that gives us 0 0.09013 pound per square inch. The flow rate can be converted to gallons per minute by taking the three gallons that were measured in a 35 second period times 60 seconds per minute unit conversion gives us 5.14 gallons per minute or GPM which is US gallons per minute. So we are then going to predict the flow rate from the pressure drop using a calculation on our website and then compare that predicted flow rate with the flow rate measured from the experiment. So we're going to run um, the calculation at lmnoeng.com slash darcyweisbach.htm. So let's go back to our website. This is our home page, lmnoeng.com. And if we scroll down, we can select liquid or gas pipe, Darcy Weisbach. And this is the calculation we can use to analyze the water flowing through the horizontal test section. Let's first scroll down and see the equations that are used in the calculation. Well, this is the steady state energy equation which is used. This is pump head, which we don't have a pump between our two test measurement sections. So our pump head will be zero. Z1 minus Z2 will be zero because it's a horizontal pipe. P1 minus P2 is the uh, pressure difference and the velocity head difference is zero because both me pressure measurements are measured in the same diameter of pipe section. And then our major losses will be computed using the Darcy-Weisbach method and the minor losses HM are zero because there are no minor losses between our our two head locations. Minor losses are things like pipe elbows. So then here is a description of the Darcy-Weisbach equation and the laminar flow equation for friction factor and the turbulent flow equation. And our calculation uses the Colebrook equation for the friction factor. Um, we can scroll back up a little bit on our calculation page and select the scenario of our um, experiment that corresponds to our experiment. Well we have scenario A because our head measurements were measured within the pipe at sections say 1 and 2. Our Z1 minus Z2 is 0 because we have a horizontal pipe and we don't have a pump between our sections 1 and 2 so our pump head is 0. If we had a reservoir at each end we could select scenario B which is reservoirs at each end and so on different scenarios if we had different situations. Now let's go back up to the calculation 
and let's make some selections. So let's select instead of galvanized iron, we had PVC, and we have water at about 20 Celsius or 68 Fahrenheit, and we'll solve for velocity and flow rate. And we need to change the scenario to pipe only because our head measurements um, were measured in the pipe rather than in reservoirs. And uh, our flow rate we can leave in gallons per minute and velocity in feet per second so we can, limit, we can uh, leave these units alone. So now let's enter the pipe diameter which from the previous page was 0 0.824 inches. So 0 0.824 inches. Our length of test section was 4 feet. The surface roughness is zero because we selected PVC which has a roughness of zero. Our fluid density and viscosity were, are hardwired into the program by selecting water at 20 degrees C. Our minor loss coefficient is zero because we don't have any pipe bends or valves or anything between our two test sections. Elevation difference is zero between the two test sections. And the pressure difference we measured as 0 0.09013 0 0.09013 PSI and our pump head is 0 because we don't have a pump between sections 1 and 2. So then we can click the calculate button and we see the flow rate is 4.92 gallons per minute. So let's take that 4.92 and see how it compares to our experimental value well, 4.92 is our value from the web page, and here it is repeated here. We measured 5.14 from the experiment, 5.14 gallons per minute. So we can compute the pressure dif excuse me, the percent difference between the measured and the computed flow rates by using this equation, 5.14 minus 4.92 quantity over 4.92 times 100% gives us a percent difference of 4.5% which is quite good agreement for an experiment and um, and a uh, computed value. Well let's see where why we didn't why we maybe could have got even better agreement. Well our head measurements were measured to about plus or minus one eighth inch accuracy and our flow rate time was probably measured to about plus or minus two seconds. And also in our Darcy Weisbach method we selected a roughness of zero feet that is a smooth pipe for PVC, which is probably pretty accurate. Although if our PVC maybe uh, was a little bit old, although this PVC was not, um, then it might be a little rougher than that. So those are possible reasons for discrepancies in the uh, agreement between the measured and the computed flow rate. Well, this concludes our video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at Elemento Engineering. Um, you can find uh, my phone number and uh, my email address right here and uh, please let me know if you have any questions thank you